Okay, so everybody on this farm is vegan. All of our animals eat uh, veggies. The only non-vegan thing that is eaten on this farm is that when we collect eggs from our birds, from the chickens, or any of the female birds, uh, they will be cooked up and then added into uh, the pig food. And the chickens can also eat some of their eggs, not too many. So if you find eggs and you wanna toss them, please don't do too many, no more than like two or three in one section. So we get donations of vegetables. And so when you come in, there's boxes of vegetables here. Hopefully if someone's able to have time, they would have organized it a little bit. We get weekly donations and, and then we have them here and in the refrigerator. So when you look at what you can use, um, no one can have like garlic and onions and that's listed here. Raw potatoes, they can't eat them. Garlic, onions, avocados, anything salty, especially to the pigs, they cannot be salt. Um, and every so often the pigs can have citrus, but this is here in yellow, so you can refer to that if you're not sure. Lily. Um, Lily's supervising. So, <laughs> hi. So our, these are great for animals to get the extra veggies. Thank you. When you look at these veggies, a lot of them, pigs can eat most of these vegetables, so we can cut them up and put them into their food. And for instance, there's potatoes here. If someone cooks them, we can give them to them, they're not just because they're not raw. As far as you want to think about birds and rabbits, the chickens, the turkeys, they can have all the greens and the vegetables. Rabbits can have a lettuce, so like romaine or regular like red leaf lettuce. Um, they can have carrot greens. So, and we will update that. That's posted somewhere. There's only a couple vegetables rabbits should have. It is a misnomer. They should not be eating carrots, like full carrots, except on occasion. Um, they're supposed to have the greens of the carrot. So things like that, we'll repost that. We'll find it. Maybe we can put a link under here or something. We'll make a little, okay. or a little note under there. Okay. Um, you, so any of these greens you can take out to the, to the ducks, to the chickens. So you can just toss them. It's great extra vegetables for them. And everybody loves bananas. Even a lot of the birds like bananas and apples. They'll peck at them and eat them. The, chi the, the piggies love bananas. Um, you just want to be cautious that you're not overfeeding sugar to anyone. None of the horses should get any, any sorts of treats at all. They are on low sugar diets, so we don't want to give them apples or carrots or anything like that. Because there's over 50 of us volunteers. It might just seem like, I'm just giving them one each, but... If even half of the volunteers gave them one each, that's <laughs> way more than they should have. So you just want to be thinking it's not just me, it's, it adds up. So let Robin be the boss of like the, the sugar, the sweets, any sort of carrots or apples or anything like that. Um, and then lastly is bread products. Uh, you know, it's like us. Bread is not really, it's delicious, but it's not great for us to have a lot of bread. So in, in little bits, you can give them bread. Like sometimes you want to give them as a distraction. Like if we're doing treatments on chickens, we might give them a little bit of bread to distract them. But this is a low quantity item. You don't want to give a lot of bread to them. It's not healthy. And in a way you can think about us, like the more vegetables, that's great. The more fruits, ah, that's great, but not a ton of fruit. And you know, any sort of grains is, is not as on the better spectrum. So more veggies is better. What about the sheep or mac and ruby? Are there any kind of treats that they can have or should they have none? I would recommend not giving them any. Um, and, and actually this is a good one for Cobb too. Cobb gives, can give the sheep and the goats diarrhea. So when we talk about giving them a treat, it's not that they can't have it, but you're talking like little bits. You might put a little bit in your hand and then the sheep could eat it off your hand. You might throw a little bit, but giving them bowls of it, it's really, it's like having a bowl of candy cob. So you don't want to give them too much of it. And they don't tend to like the vegetables too much anyway, but every so often we'll get something and then maybe we'll make a note of it. that People can give it to them, but they're not big treaters, our sheep and goats. <laughs>